Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is actually my second time filming this video. The first time I filmed it, basically the whole thing was out of focus. So I'm sitting down, no makeup on, just trying to get this film for you guys because I know a lot of you want to see it. And we have a Leo here. Every time he turns, he hears me turn my camera on, he wants to come say hello. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my updated poly gel, structure gel, builder gel kind of um, nail tutorials. It's basically going to be how I add tips to my nails and get them to look long when in actuality they look like that. I have mastered this technique. I have a really old video on my channel when I was kind of just testing out first, figuring out um, builder gel. Not gonna lie, at that point it, it was very hard for me. Like I thought it just took really long, but honestly I have mastered this technique. I like cut myself when I was getting my nails ready. And now my nail is bleeding. Pretty much mastered this technique to the point where I can do it once and then I don't even need to refill it. And I'll tell you guys how. So like this one, for example, don't mind me cutting myself there, but you can see there's kind of a tip at the end. Um, once I put that on, I kind of just let it grow out with my nail and then I just have to put polish on top as usual. I don't have to do a refill like regular acrylics. It's just like regular nail polish so it's very low maintenance in the sense that i don't have to do a new set every time some of these are my real nails like this one is my full real nail my nails this long this one is my full real nail some of these are my full real nail um and some of them are tips so i just want to quickly go through and let you guys know what you're going to need you're not going to need like too many things the first thing you're going to need is a light this one's from gel care but i'll link my favorite one from amazon i like this one because you can use it when it's unplugged or you can use it plugged in it is pretty expensive i think this one but the one from amazon works literally the same the next thing you're going to need is this builder gel I recommend using clear, though I have a few where I use like pink or nude and clear is just the best. It looks most like a nail. It's not pink underneath like this one. So I use from this brand, the clear gel. It works the best. You're going to need your little tips that you're going to use to apply the builder gel. I'll show you guys how to use that in a sec. Okay, so these are optional, but I do think they're really useful. They're little clips to keep the thing on your nail. A nail file and a nail buffer. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna show you guys how to prep your nails for this. You can check out my uh, manicure video or you can check out, there's so many on YouTube, how to prep your nails for a manicure. I'm going to need a spatula. This one has a spatula on one end and then it has a little brush on the other end. This is to apply the builder gel to your little tip. This actually comes as a set with the spatula, the clips, and the tips. So it all comes as a nice little set. The next thing you're going to need is the color you wanna put on top. You can do one solid color. Um, I'm gonna do French. I have updated my French manicure technique, so I will show you guys that as well. You're going to need a base coat and a top coat. My absolute favorite are from Gel Care. And then you're going to need whatever color you wanna use. So I'm going to be using Cloud, and then I'm going to be using French Alps for the tips. Here's the status of my nails right now. Obviously, I only need to put a tip on this one. This is my real nail, and then this, you can see there's a little tip on it, but you can also see I don't need to do a refill on that. I'm just going to treat it as if it is my regular nail. Let me show you guys. You're gonna be blown away at how easy this is. So I have my light right here, it's on, and these are my nails. I really hope it's easier to see. Okay, so you're gonna wanna prep your nails however you would for a regular manicure. On the nail that you're going to be applying the tip, you're just going to kinda buff it so it's not so smooth. I just find that this works the best. Then I just take some rubbing alcohol and clean it off. You can wash your hands, but this is just like the easiest method. This looks like a mess, but I'm going to take my nail primer. This one is from Ugly Ducklings, but you can use whichever. And you're going to prime your nail. I'm going to go ahead and apply a base coat on my nail before I apply the poly gel tip. I have done it without applying this at first, and 
the tip does not last as long. You wanna make sure you also don't get it on your cuticle because that makes it not stick as well to your nails. So you're gonna go ahead and cure your base for about a minute. The next step is to pick the size of the tip you want. I recommend using one that fits the top of your nail well. It's better for it to be a little bit bigger than a little bit too small. So I'm using this size right here. Now my biggest number one tip is to only apply it from half of your nail up because you wanna kind of leave the area around your cuticle as thin as possible. I personally don't like applying a ton around here, so I focus the product here and up. In this is a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You're going to take your little spatula and pick up a small amount of your gel. I don't know if you can see that. Just a small little nugget of elder gel. And you're going to want to place it right below where the end of your natural nail meets and kind of press it in there and scoop it off. Now with the brush side, you're gonna take the brush side and dip it in a little bit of that rubbing alcohol. And this is just gonna make sure that the poly gel or the builder gel doesn't stick to the brush. As you can see, I'm not putting any at the base. And keep in mind, when you press your nail down, it will spread the product. So the next thing you're going to do is take it and press it down on your nail nice and tight and you'll see the poly gel kind of spread across your nail. It'll look like that. The next thing you want to do is flip your nail over and with your brush again, you're going to want to press down on the poly gel so that it is not super thick. You don't want a super thick nail. You want it to look like a real nail. It's okay if it goes longer because you could always file it down. You just want to make sure that it's nice and flush with the nail, everything looks good. So that's what it's gonna look like. You're going to apply the clip on to make sure that it doesn't move and you're going to cure that for about 90 seconds to two minutes. Okay, so it was curing for about two minutes and then once after that, you can just go ahead and pop it off and you have a nice nail. So this is what the nail looks like. It is not super thick at all, feels really good. It's not thick around the cuticle. I really, really suggest only putting the builder gel on this area because it will spread towards your cuticle. If you fill it too thick towards your cuticle, once it spreads, it's going to be so thick and it's not gonna look good. If you had other nails to do, you would just go ahead and do that on all of your nails. The next thing you're gonna do is go in with your nail file and you're just going to shape it into the nail shape you want. You can do square, you can do round. So this is why you kind of want to make it a little bit longer than you actually want your nail because you can go in and file it down into whatever shape you want. I always file on the sides here because you don't want it to be too thick. That's like the key. You want it to be nice and thin, but thick enough that it's not going to break off. Then you're going to take the file and kind of file on the top of the nail. A big tip when you're filing, you wanna make sure you keep the nail looking round. So I like going from the side and pushing up towards the center when filing on both sides. If you notice that the bottom is too thick or your nail is too thick or you have like a weird bump under your nail of product buildup, with practice, that won't happen. Like you can see it's actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's very smooth. You can just stick your file underneath and kind of file like this. Next, take your little buffer brick or whatever this is and do the same thing. And your nail is ready. I'm gonna go rinse this off with water and we'll get on to painting our nails. So you're just gonna start by applying a primer. The next thing you're going to do is apply a base coat. You can also use structure gel. I've spoken about this a lot in the past. This is supposed to make your natural nails stronger. Sometimes I use that if my nails are feeling particularly weak. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a base coat. One thing I like doing is taking a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a brush and going around my cuticles wherever I think polish may have touched it and cleaning them up. This will make your manicure look 
better and it will also make your manicure last longer. And then you're going to cure this for another minute. Next, you're gonna go in with a light white or a light pink. I like using Cloud from Gel Care, but I also like Nude BB Cream. I like Rose BB Cream. You can use coconut milk, but Cloud has been my favorite recently. So you're just going to do one thin layer of that as your base. Another tip that I've kind of figured out, even though some people say not to do it, is I kind of let the nail polish sit on my nails for a few seconds before I bake it because I feel like it just looks a lot smoother. So then you're just going to cure that again for another minute. Okay, next you're going to need the white you're going to use to paint on your tips. I'm using French Alps. I This has just been my favorite for a long time now. So what you're gonna make sure to do is only get a tiny little bit on your brush. This takes me no time at all. So you're going to put your um, brush on a flat surface like this, and you're going to put half of the brush on your nail, starting at the center, and sweep it towards yourself in little flicking motions in the way you want your nail to go, like so. I really hope you can see what I'm doing here. And then you're going to start at the other end and bring that line to the center. Like that. One thing I've noticed is that you don't have to stress about it being perfect because once you put the top coat on, it kind of looks perfect anyways. I used to stress so much and then I kind of like didn't stress about it one day and it ended up looking perfect anyways. So clean up the sides. You can go in with a little brush and just clean up the edges. But if I'm being honest, I rarely do that just because you can't even tell if it's perfect or not. So that's what it looks like. After you do one nail, you're going to cure it for 10 seconds or however long, just to make sure it sets and you don't hit it and it doesn't move around. So then you're gonna go ahead and do that on the rest of your nails. Again, don't get too much on your nail. Start at the center, do little brush strokes instead of one sweeping motion. And I feel like that's a lot, a lot easier. It's okay if you get some on your skin, you can just wipe that off. You can even do this with different colors, like for spring, next time I'll probably try to do it with like a light pink. I think that would be really pretty. And lastly, we have the thumb. Then once you do all of your nails, you're going to bake that for about a minute just to make sure everything is all set. Once your nails come out, you're going to do one more coat of that same color you put on the bottom. You can also switch it up and do one that is more pink or whatever, but I just think it's easiest if you use the same color. I like doing a nice thin coat because it'll let the white look really nice and crisp. Once that's done, put on a top coat and you're almost all finished. Okay. 
once it's done, I always apply some cuticle oil. And there you go, simple as that. Okay, this is what it looks like up close. You can see it's like super thin, doesn't look too thick. The other nails. Alrighty, so my nails are done. I hope I didn't make this too confusing. I will leave all of the products I use linked down below. If you have any other questions about anything I did or what I use, um, just leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys back here next time.